Today, I've got a special personal story to share. Over the last 10 years, my investment in Fraser's Centerpoint Trust has more than doubled, yes doubled. The compounded returns of Fraser's Centerpoint Trust is 111%, with annual returns ranging from minus 8.1% to 32%. As a dividend yielding investment, Fraser's Centerpoint Trust dividends provided me with a 50% return. That's pretty exciting, right? But, that's not what we're focusing on today. Instead, I want to talk about what I've learned as an investor along the way. These lessons have made me a more discerning investor when I assess REITs, and I think they can help you too. Whether you're just starting out or you've been investing for a while, there's something here for everyone. Now, if you are new to the channel, it's the dividend uncle here, and I assure you, everything I share comes straight from my real-life investing experiences. No fluff, just genuine insights from my actual portfolio. Now, let's jump right into today's discussion. 2014, The Strategic Start In 2014, Fraser's Centerpoint Trust was already showing promise with a portfolio of five malls, but the acquisition of Changi City Point for $305 million was a clear signal of its growth ambitions. This move wasn't just about adding another mall to the collection. It was a strategic decision aimed at expanding Fraser's Centerpoint Trust's footprint in a high-growth area. The real payoff came in 2023 when Changi City Point was sold for $338 million, showcasing Fraser's Centerpoint Trust's ability to not only identify but also enhance the value of its assets over time. Lesson for investors, identify REITs with a clear growth strategy. Look for those making strategic acquisitions in high growth areas, as these moves can signal strong future capital gains. Assess how a REIT expands and enhances its asset value over time to choose investments with potential for significant appreciation. 2015 to 2016, weathering market volatility. The years 2015 and 2016 threw the global markets into a whirlwind of uncertainty, with challenges ranging from China's economic slowdown to plummeting crude oil prices. For many, it was a time to retreat, but Fraser's Centerpoint Trust stood its ground, demonstrating the strength of its foundation amidst the chaos. Despite the market's volatility, with a notable 8.2% price decline in 2015, Fraser's Centerpoint Trust's operational performance told a story of resilience and strategic acumen. Notably, rental reversion climbed by 6.3%, while shopper traffic swelled by 8.2%, clear indicators that Fraser's Centerpoint Trust was not just surviving but thriving. Lesson for investors, value operational resilience over short-term market reactions. In volatile times, prioritize REITs with solid operational metrics, such as positive rental reversions and increasing foot traffic. These indicators often reflect a REIT's underlying strength and its ability to navigate economic challenges. 2017-2019, Capturing Growth Amidst Expansion between 2017 and 2019, Fraser's Centerpoint Trust wasn't just on the growth trajectory, it was on a mission to redefine its market presence. This period saw the trust making a monumental move by acquiring a significant stake in PGIM Real Estate Asia Retail Fund Limited. This wasn't just any acquisition. PGIM Real Estate Asia Retail Fund held prized assets including Tiong Baru Plaza, White Sands, Liang Court, Haogong Mall, Century Square, and Tampanese One effectively doubling Fraser's Centerpoint Trust's exposure from six malls to an impressive 12. This expansion wasn't just about numbers, it was about dramatically increasing Fraser's Centerpoint Trust's footprint and diversifying its offerings to a wider audience. Lesson for investors, consider the role of strong sponsors in a REIT's growth trajectory. A sponsor with a strategic vision can provide access to transformative acquisition opportunities. Evaluate a REIT's expansion strategy and how it leverages sponsor relationships to diversify and strengthen its portfolio. 2020-2021, Navigating Unprecedented Challenges The years 2020 and 2021 tested Fraser's Centerpoint Trust like never before, as the COVID-19 pandemic presented unprecedented challenges, particularly for retail malls. Fraser's Centerpoint Trust faced the daunting challenge of lockdowns and a stark drop in foot traffic, putting the retail sector's resilience to the test. During this critical period, Fraser's Centerpoint Trust embarked on a bold venture by taking full control of the Asia Retail Fund. This move was not just about expansion, it was a strong bet on the sector's recovery, enriching Fraser's Centerpoint Trust's portfolio with vital assets at a time when the future of retail was uncertain. Lesson for investors, 
Look for boldness in strategy during downturns. REITs that make strategic acquisitions or optimize their portfolio in challenging times demonstrate foresight and commitment to long-term growth. Assess how a REIT responds to crises, as their actions can reveal resilience and potential for future success. 2022 Present, On the Road to Recovery As the world tentatively stepped into the post-pandemic era, Fraser Centerpoint Trust embarked on a strategic path to recovery during 2022 to present. Amidst signs of economic revival, Fraser Centerpoint Trust made calculated moves to optimize its portfolio for a new retail landscape. A pivotal decision was the divestment of Changi City Point, coupled with a strategic acquisition of Next Mall. This wasn't just a property exchange, it was a significant upgrade. Nex, known for its bustling foot traffic and diverse tenant mix, presented a more attractive proposition for growth and sustainability. This move showcased Fraser's Centerpoint Trust's agility in adapting to changing market dynamics and prioritizing assets with higher potential. Lesson for investors, post-crisis, evaluate how REITs realign their portfolios. Successful recovery strategies often involve prioritizing assets with better growth prospects, such as those with high foot traffic and diverse tenant mixes. Analyze how a REIT adapts to market recovery, focusing on strategic realignments that align with future consumer behaviors and market trends. The Dividend Uncle's Investment Wisdom Reflecting on 10 years with Fraser's Centerpoint Trust, I've gleaned invaluable lessons that can steer both new and experienced investors toward smarter decisions. Here's what every investor should consider. 1. Evaluate strategic moves. The transition from Changi City Point to Next Mall is a prime example of strategic foresight. Look for REITs that actively manage their portfolios, prioritizing assets with the most growth potential. This approach not only boosts a portfolio's value but also its ability to withstand market shifts. 2. Assess operational strength. Even during market turbulence, Fraser's Centerpoint trusts strong operational performance, including positive rental reversions and increased foot traffic, stood out. As an investor, prioritize REITs with solid fundamentals. These are the ones that tend to thrive regardless of economic conditions. 3. Recognize the value of bold decisions. Fraser's Centerpoint Trust's acquisition of the Asia Retail Fund amidst uncertainty highlighted the importance of conviction. When evaluating REITs, consider their response to adversity. Those that make calculated, bold moves can unlock significant growth opportunities. 4. Understand the sponsor's role. With Fraser's properties backing, Fraser's Centerpoint Trust accessed unique growth avenues. A strong sponsor can be a game-changer, offering strategic advantages and opportunities. Assess the influence and vision of a REIT sponsor, as it can significantly impact the trust's trajectory. Reflecting on a decade with Fraser's Centerpoint Trust reveals more than just a financial journey, it uncovers the essence of strategic, informed investing. Each phase of Fraser's Centerpoint Trust's evolution offers a blueprint for assessing not just REITs but any long-term investment. The real takeaway? Look deeper, think longer, and choose smarter. Thank you for joining me on this reflective dive. If you've gleaned insights from this journey, share your thoughts, hit like, and subscribe for more. Here's to learning from the past to enrich our future investments.